Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing with you all the shrimp fried rice recipe that I did on my last live on Instagram. This one was really delicious and everyone that made it had really good things to say about it. So to start this recipe, I have my shrimp already cleaned in the vein and I'm adding salt. In goes minced garlic. green seasoning, fish seasoning, complete seasoning. You really want to flavor this shrimp really well, hence the reason why I'm adding all of these seasonings. In goes my citrus seasoning, and you may think it's a lot, but trust me, it does add a lot of flavor. In goes scallion and celery, chopped. We're gonna give that a mix and set it aside and allow it to marinate for a little. To a big skillet, I'm adding in oil. And I like using avocado oil. Garlic. In goes ginger and garlic. And we're going to let that sweat out just in that, that oil. Mix. You don't want your heat to be on a high here. You want it to be on a medium, you just want to medium, medium the garlic and the ginger. Let that get fragrant and then we'll go in with chopped pimento peppers and goes chopped bell peppers you'll see everything is finely chopped and we're gonna give this a mix I want the peppers to start cooking out before I cook the shrimp now I'm going to go in with the shrimp you don't want to overcook the shrimp hence the reason why I cook the peppers first so I'm gonna give that a good mix and you don't want to overcook your shrimp so just let it cook in there for about 30 seconds these shrimp are really small now I'm gonna go in with some shredded carrots next I'm gonna go in with some chopped celery and I'm gonna give that a mix now the celery and the carrots, I don't want it to cook too much, so I'm just giving this a mix. At this point, the shrimp should be almost done, so we're going to go in with the rice. And let's season the rice with some Chinese seasoning salt. And you would want to use day-old or really cooled rice for this don't use hot rice when you're making fried rice and with some fried rice seasoning I'm adding my ginger my garlic and ginger soy sauce really really delicious and it's a great addition to this recipe and goes some oyster flavored sauce and we want to finish with that sesame oil Now I'm adding in some fresh scallions, also known as Siphon Trinidad, and give that a mix. And once it's been mixed in, your shrimp fry rice is now ready. Your shrimp is going to be perfectly cooked and it's not going to be overcooked. So all you have to do is taste and adjust your salt and then serve. So if you guys try this recipe, Comment down below and let me know what you think. If you're on Instagram, tag me on your story so I can repost your pictures. Thank you all so much for joining me today. And do follow my page and Caribbean Flavors page for the next live video. Thank you all and have a safe one. Bye.